let's work on the most important section of your online resume, which is your experience. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto a dummy LinkedIn account that I created, and we're going to go through all the steps of how to add experience on your LinkedIn profile. And then we'll also look at the different sections in addition to the work experience that you can add as well. All right, let's get started. All right, so here you should see the profile page of Charles Hillen. And just in case you need to understand how to get there, let's just go back to the home page. So if you didn't, didn't create a LinkedIn account already, what you wanna do is go to linkedin.com and you'll see a login page and there'll be an area below the login fields will, where you will create a new user or create a new account, something like that. Follow the procedures. You will add an email, you will confirm the email, create a password, et cetera. And then once you get to LinkedIn, it'll have some setup steps where you just add in some location, title of your current job or last job. And then you'll, it'll prompt you to fill in certain parts. And once you've gotten through that, you should come to an area that looks like this, which is just your feed, kind of like a Facebook wall. And you'll just see posts, um, maybe not too many because you won't be connected to anyone. And there'll be a lot of blank things, but as you, if you're just starting out, you'll, you'll be filling these out. If you already have a LinkedIn, then you're already beyond all that. And you're probably at this stage where you know, uh, you, uh, you know people on LinkedIn, you're connected with them. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the me button here at the top. And then we're gonna go to view profile. And then we have our banner, we have our, our intro section overall. And right underneath the banner picture, you're gonna see a button that says add profile section. And this is where we're gonna be working from. There's other places where you can add what's in this tab, this menu, but this is gonna be the most convenient one-stop shop for adding stuff. And we're gonna to go to, you'll, you'll see intro, which is this section here about featured background and all these different areas. We're gonna talk about the background area, but particularly the work experience, the education, and then maybe these two. And then we'll talk about accomplishments as well, which you can add all these different sections here. All right, so let's go to background and we're gonna click on work experience. And what we'll see pop up is this add experience window. We'll uh, add a title, we'll add employment type, we'll add a company, the location, start date, end date. And then we will confirm, uh, we'll add the description right here and we will click save. And I'm just gonna go to a sample resume that I pulled up and I'm just gonna cut and paste copy and paste from that and add it to this. And you, so I'm just gonna to go to that right now. And the title of the experience is software engineer. The employment type, I'll just put full time. The company, if it's a small company and it's not on LinkedIn, you probably won't have a little logo right here. And it's nice when that shows up because it makes your profile look more complete and more official, more professional. So we're just gonna put, Amazon location, we're gonna do Seattle, Washington. We're gonna do start date as January 2015. And we're just gonna say that is until, so if you're not currently working there, unselect that and then we'll have till February 2018. And for our description, let's go back to our dummy resume. And, and here's our bullet points. So you wanna make sure to include those bullet points with the action words at the beginning. And if you can make them measurable accomplishments or highlights of your job, that's better versus just describing what you do. And you can add media as well to show any pro portfolios of projects that you did any evidence of the accomplishments that you made, awards, maybe something like that, uh, whatever you think will be relevant, whatever you think that the person reading your resume would want in order to connect with you or offer you a job opportunity. All right, so it looks like we've just about filled out everything necessary for this experience. We're gonna click save. And then we have added that to our, experience, our list of work experience here. And 
pretty straightforward. You can also click this plus sign to add an experience as well. It'll bring you to the same spot as clicking on that menu, that drop down menu in the intro section, the add profile section right here. All right, so now we're gonna look at education. Um, another note about the, the work experience in your LinkedIn profiles, you wanna go in reverse chronological order, which LinkedIn will automatically do for you. For education, you wanna do reverse chronological order as well, but as long as you put in the start and end dates, it will do that for you. You can add associate's degree, PhD, master's, bachelor's, all that kind of educational experience. And then we have skills and endorsements, and then we have interests, but you might notice that there's not every section that's readily available. We have to go to this button here, which is why I'm coming back. So you can go to accomplishments and you can add publications. If you have any articles written online, uh, you can add all of these different things here, honors and awards, languages, organizations you might've been a part of, and that's up to you. Uh, for publications, let's just go look at that. So you're gonna add a title and you can add how to code in R programming. And publication we could just say is um, coding with coding with the right stuff. And you can just say the publication day, April 10th, 2018. And then you have to put the publication URL so it can't just be something fake, uh, which I am pretty much making up. So this has no real URL. And then you're gonna add the description, a little bit about it. So it's easy to, under to understand when people click on it. And then you just go save. All right, so that's it for adding experience to the LinkedIn profile. Hopefully that was helpful to you and you can add more of your own experiences to there and create yourself as a desirable candidate for all those job, job opportunities out there. All right, bye.